Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we're talking about fake Jeffree Star lipsticks. Yes, that's right. I bought these bad boys for super cheap off AliExpress, and I thought we could go on here today and give them a try. Okay, before I even touch these boxes even more, I just have to put out a little disclaimer. I fucking love Jeffree Star, I'm not gonna lie. I'm throwing it out there, and I will tell you why. I have followed him almost since the beginning of his career, way back on MySpace when he was getting followers and becoming huge. And at that time, his brand was very sassy, kind of like emo, in your face, uh. And that's what I loved about him. Nobody else was like that, and if they were, they weren't as cool as he was. And I think he's getting so much flack lately because his attitude didn't change when he quit the music industry and started the business industry. I don't think people really knew who he was or what he was about. They just saw a really great lipstick that went completely viral. When I met him like five or six years ago, he was in a little janky minivan in a podunk town and he was very happy to meet me, but his brand was being a bitch, so he was a bitch. His brand was being sassy, he was sassy, and that's what people loved about him. That's what I loved about him. And to have taken everything that you've earned from one venue and putting it in a completely new venue and becoming extremely successful, to me, I look up to that. That is a mogul, that is awesome business work, that is super inspiring. I love it. I'm not condoning or supporting or backing up the negativity that he's put out there. We've all acted before we've thought and I think he's done that. His is just on a huge basis because he has such an incredible following. No, I don't condone that. No, I don't support it. I've done it. You've done it. We've all done it. It's not cool. But him as a business person, I absolutely love him as a musician. I absolutely love him as a makeup artist and genius. And so therefore, I love him. He's awesome. Now to these fake ass lipsticks. I do not condone fake cosmetics whatsoever. To me, that's like downloading an album illegally. It's just, it's not cool because the original artist isn't getting the money that they deserve for creating the product. Their name is on it, yet they're not making any profit. That's not right. I also have no idea what's actually in here. It could be paint that smells like cupcakes for all I know. The ingredients listed on here are the same as Jeffrey's and I very much doubt that they use the actual ingredients as Jeffrey's. So for that reason, I'm probably just gonna pitch these out after we're done with them. I'm not gonna use them on clients. I'm not gonna use them in tutorials. So I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna throw them away. I did order, I think, four real Jeffree Star lipsticks and they're not here yet. It's been weeks, maybe months, and I just wanted to get this video done and out. So. We're gonna do it and then when they come in, maybe I'll do swatches and put them on Instagram. Oh no, we'll see. I will say I have used Jeffree's real lipstick so I know what they feel like on my lips. For packaging, I've seen that as well. I know what it feels like, but I've also got pictures pulled up in front of me of the real packaging so we can kind of compare it. All right, I got five of these bad boys for I think $25 including shipping. They took about a month and a half to get here, which seems long, but it's faster than what the real ones are coming in. So I'm okay with that. It's, it's fine, it's whatever. And the colors I got are Dominatrix, I'm Nude, Posh Spice, Celebrity Skin, and Queen Supreme. I think I got an okay mixture of light and dark. Lighter ones, even with higher up brands, you usually have to put on sometimes two to three coats because they're so light it's hard to get the pigment in them. And then the darker ones, usually you only need like one coat and you're, you're good. All right, let's start with the packaging. This is what the box looks like. It looks exactly the same as Jeffrey's. It feels super sturdy and well-constructed. The stars here are metallic, just like his, with his logo on it, the J with the star. Underneath it says velour lipstick in English and different languages, and then the ounces. Just like his, the side says long-lasting, extreme beauty, matte finish, cruelty-free, vegan. And under that, there's a tip that says exfoliate with lip scrub before use. Avoid food with oil and no making out. Kisses are okay. Smile, ready for your close-up. And here is the ingredient list, same ingredients as what his has, the contact info and website, they're all exactly the same as the real lipstick. The only, and I mean only difference, is the color of the sticker right at the end. It's the same design as the original lipstick, but it's more red. His has more pink in it. Now I will open it up, and this color is Queen Supreme, and the first thing that I notice is the sticker right there. That sticker is much different than Jeffrey's. This one is just kind of shittily put on. His have the words Jeffree Star Cosmetics on them as well as the ounces, the name, and made in the USA. This just has Queen Supreme on it and it's like stuck on. It looks like the stickers you put on at yard sales. Super cheap. However, 
the rest of this, it looks the exact same. It feels the exact same. It's kind of heavy. It feels really sturdy and good quality. The top has the stars right there, just like his, and it even has the accent clear plastic on top. And it even has the small space between the applicator and the tube. And Jeffrey's space is there because of the lock. Let's see if this one has a lock. No, no, it doesn't. The writing looks the exact same. It might be a little thinner on here than Jeffrey's real one, but other than that, it looks the exact same. It's really sad, scary, and kind of impressive at the same time. Now let's take a look inside. Okay, first off, his applicators are clear, and this one is white, and this applicator itself is not even close to looking like what Jeffrey's looks like. This is just like a straight wand. His is a really nice doe foot applicator with a tiny point on it. The next color here is Celebrity Skin. This is really pretty. This is Posh Spice right here. This one is I'm Nude, and this one is one that I've tried his real one for, so we can see how it compares. This is pretty too. It's Dominatrix. I love the dark brown. Oh, that's pretty. Swatchy, swatchy time. We're going to start with Celebrity Skin, and I'm going to put it on my lips, but I'm not going to let all of them dry because if I let them dry, it is going to be super hard to get off my lips. So I'm going to probably let one of them dry at the end. All right, here we go. Oh, right off the bat, it's super creamy. It feels exactly like Jeffree's formula, but I don't think it's as pigmented. I know it's not as pigmented. Okay, so this is with one dip. It covered my whole mouth, but I would probably put on a second application. Already, it feels kind of sticky, and it's a little hard to talk, I'm not gonna lie. But it's not so sticky that, like, it pulls up. Is it pulling up? No, it is kind of pulling up. Adding more really isn't helping. The liquid from the new lipstick is kind of, like, wiping away the old lipstick. Here's what it looks like. Mm. Mm Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Nasty. Okay, I'm wiping this one off. This isn't even dry yet, and it is really difficult to get off. So, Celebrity Skin, fail. Next, I'm gonna try Supreme Queen. And this one's purple, and I'm really kind of curious about it because a lot of purple lipsticks make my teeth look yellow. I don't know if that does that to anybody else, but it does with me, so we'll see. Ooh. This feels really nice. This feels a lot better than the first one. Okay, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this. It's really buttery and creamy. It kind of reminds me of NYX's liquid lipstick, like those suede ones. I like it, and it doesn't make my teeth look super yellow, does it? Eh, I can't tell. And no, it does not feel as smooth and weightless as Jeffree Star's, but it'll do. It feels okay, like it's not super sticky. It seems to, no, it's cracking right there. Do you see? E, right on my lip. Uh, it's not sexy. But if you stand back about six feet, it looks okay. Next I'm trying I'm Nude, and I'm gonna put it on with the applicator it came with, but then I'm gonna spread it around with my Belle V makeup brush, and I'll link you guys down below to these. They're really soft. I love them. Once again, it's really splotchy, and yeah. Here's a close-up of it. This is a really pretty shade, but it's just so splotchy. Next, we will be doing Posh Spice, and these don't really have any kind of a fragrance. Oh, that color is so pretty. Teeth look white still. That's good. That's always key. Oh, it is kind of sticky. Uh, mm, sticky. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Yeah, go up to somebody. Hi, nice to meet you. Mm, uh, sticky. Still sticky. Let's try it and get it off with some oil though. Now it's just sliding it around all over my face. Is this a good look? Do you think I'm sexy? <sighs> all right, we have come to the end and I think this one is gonna be my favorite. It's probably going to suck donkey dick, but we will see. And this is Dominatrix. Eh, eh. Oh, that's so pretty.
Okay, we'll let it dry. Come dry. Sex with me, so amazing. I'm obsessed with that song right now. I love Rihanna. She would wear this lipstick, except the real version. Okay, we are dry. It's not sticky at all. Maybe a little bit. It will need a second coat right up there, but by far this is infinitely better than all of the other ones that I tried. It's not even close to being like the real Jeffree Star one, but this one is really pretty. All right, it's off. My lips are still there. They hurt bad. And that concludes this video about these fake ass Jeffree Star lipsticks. Are they good? Not really. Would I recommend them? Hell no. Will I use them again? No. No, I won't. The only one I could really see having any potential is Dominatrix, the brown one, and this one actually was really pretty. It had that reddish tone to it, and I really liked it. I thought it was cool. And if you're considering fake Jeffree Star stuff, I would take everything that you were going to buy that was fake and just buy one real Jeffree Star thing because that's probably what it would cost and your product will be a lot better and last. So these are going in the bin. Don't recommend them. I'm thirsty. Please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Official Lady and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you again soon. Bye.